past an orchestra of tailpipes on North Monroe. Hoffman Music. This is Brad, how may I help you? Oh, it's a whole collection of six strings and everything in between. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But they don't really sell instruments. It's been my one and only job. Sky Dornbeyer. It's, it's very powerful. Is in the business um, of connection. Man, I didn't prepare for this. Which is why <laughs> we know this um, is pure truth. It is the one defining factor that gets me through every single day. Um, I know that I can count on it to always be there. Lined tight along Hoffman's walls are just one half of lifelong bonds. The right guitar finds you. Some people search decades for the right guitar. And it's pretty exciting. But Rob Ruigiano. Dibble dabbled with just about everything that didn't require me to do needles. And uh, he's searching and, um, for much more. Art and guitars have, have brought me back from that. Rob spent his whole life between LA and here in Spokane, pursuing a degree as a starving artist in the school of hard knocks. And still, he'll literally give up food for his work. It's the first guitar ever made with, believe it or not, sugar cubes. Sugar cubes? Okay, interesting. Sugar cubes. Yeah, so what happens if it gets wet? I think you have to hear him find out. <laughs> It, it feels comfortable, and the sounds that are coming out of it, it's responding to everything I'm doing. And... That's the whole reason it was built. The guitar is Rob's response. To the, the sad news that, had, that he had, in fact, uh, passed on. Mm. A year ago, his old friend John Lindley died. They were once roommates, co-workers, always artists. He could write some amazing songs. <laughs> Rob still holds on to those sweet times back in L.A. Every uh, sugar cube that I place sparks a memory for me. Who else could hold the namesake? Her nickname I gave him, oh, 25, 30 years ago, Schmindelhofer. Don't know where it came from, don't know what it's about. Rob just knows art helps him heal. It helps them all heal. I love that part about this job, and that's what's kept me here so long. A lifetime later, Rob finally decided he would just build the right guitar. That's true. Thank you. It's tough to tell, though, exactly who found who. Something just told me that this, this guitar was his. Andrew Bartline. I feel John. I absolutely feel him. Nonstop Local.